how to build a correlation chart in Excel, how to build a chart with two axes, with a secondary axis. This is what we're going to see in today's video. And through this chart, I can see, for example, if there is a correlation between the margin and the total sold in each one of the weeks that I have. And of course, here I'm using a line chart in Excel because I have here the sales through the dates, for example. So if you have dates in your data set, days, weeks, months, years, decades, and so on, so on. Maybe it's a good idea to use the line chart in Excel to compare to see the evolution of the values through the date. Well, let's take a look here in the chart and let's find out if there is a correlation between the sales and the marriage. But before we do it, let's understand here this chart. Here down below, I have all the categories all the dates that I have, all the weeks. So that way I can see the evolution of the values through the weeks, for example. And here I can see to the left, all the values that represent the sales line, this blue line right here. And here to the right, I can see all the percentage that respond to the headline, to the margin line, for example. And yeah, just looking at the chart, I can see there is, yes, there is a correlation between the sales and the margin because whenever my margin goes down, my sales go up, for example. I can see the situation through the first week up to the fourth week, for example. And I can also see when I maintain my margin, my sales also maintain. So in this example right here, there is a correlation between these two data. And another benefit here to using a two axis chart in Excel or a correlation chart in Excel is because I can find a good spot. So let's say, this spot right here, I think it's good for me because I have a good margin and a good sales value in a week, for example. So maybe this is a good point for me. But let's stop rumbling and let's see how can you do this chart step by step here in Excel. Let's go. The first thing that we need to build any type of chart in Excel is to have a data set. And here in this example, I'm using, I'm compare the sales and the margin through the dates. But you can use your own data set. You don't need to copy this data set that I'm using here. You can use your own data set. For example, you just need to have in the first column uh, dates, for example. And instead of using weeks, you can also use days, months, years, decades, and so on, so on. So basically, you need in the first column, it's common to use the dates, date in the first column. And because we are comparing and see the evolution of the values through the dates, we can use the line chart here in Excel. The line chart is a good way to go when you have dates and values. And in the column B and the column C, these two following columns, I have the sales and then the margin. So here I want to compare and to see if there is a correlation between sales and margin. Okay, so you basically need to have values. You can use uh, currency, you can use percentage, you can use quantity and so on, so on. It's important to, to be values, just that, okay? Now let me select, let's say the first and the second column. The third one I want to add just after. So I'm going to select the first column and the second one. And then I'm going to click insert. I'm going to choose the chart to use. I'm going to use the line chart, for example, this first option right here. And as you guys can see, our chart is basically done. I already have here my line chart in the screen. And I can also compare. I can also see how much I sold my sales through the weeks that I have here, through the dates. But uh, I don't want to see only the sales, that I, the, the values that I just sold, but I want to compare with the margin. I want to see if there is a correlation between these two values. So I'm going to select here. Basically, there is two ways to take the values column and to input in the chart. I can do it in an easier way or I can do it in, a, let's say, another way. I'm going to do it with the easiest way as possible. So I'm going to select here all the values in the last column, and then I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl C to cope. I'm going to click in the chart, and then I'm going to press Ctrl V. Okay, now I have these two informations. The first one is my blue line, where I have the sales, and the second one is the margin with this orange line. But as you guys can see, the line is pretty much flat. Why? Why this happen? And if you guys compare here with the previous line, with the sales, I have here all this curve in the line, but here in the margin is pretty much flat. This happened because if we compare, let's say, a percentage number with a large number that we have a 23,000, for example, the difference between these two numbers is too big, is too much. So, for example, 0 0.18. This is equal to 18%. So, basically, in Excel, we are using to see the percentage like this. 18.7%, for example, with the percentage symbol. 
but uh, we can also write it in a numerical way like I just did before. So 0 0.18, for example. And look at the difference between this number right here and the 23,000, for example, dollars sold. It's too much difference. There is a, a large gap between these two numbers. This is why the orange line that I have here is flat because basically all the percentage numbers that I have, we start with zero. So 0 0.20, 20, for example, 20%, 0 0.10 is equal to 10% and so on and so on. So I always start with zero. So this is why I have here a flat line. So to make sure we can change this flat line to a, a line that we actually can see the values and the evolution of the values, I need to, to insert here a secondary axis. So let me just right click in the chart and then I can go to change chart type. And with this new window that is just pop out for me, I can choose the last option here, combo. And I'm gonna stick with the both options here as line chart, for example, line, and here it's also line, okay? But here in the secondary axis, I'm gonna just check this second box right here because I want to my margin line to use as reference a secondary axis. So let me click here and now I can click okay. And as you guys can see, now our correlation chart is done. Now I can compare the margin with the sales, for example. The margin is using as reference all these values that I have here to the right and the blue line that is my sales is using as reference these values that I have here to the left. We can also add here the legend to make sure we know the orange line is the margin and the blue one is the sales. Let's click in the chart and then I can go to chart design here to the left add chart element and then legend. I'm gonna add a legend to the top for example of the chart like this. I think it's good. One more step that I can do here is just to split which one of the categories that I have. So for example, week, week, week one, week two, week three, I can actually add these vertical lines. So let me click in the chart and then chart design again. Again here, add chart element, and then I'm gonna choose the option grind lines, and I'm gonna choose primary major vertical. Now it's easier to see each one of the categories that we have, and also each one of the values. It's easy to find a point in the chart and see which value it is, and also which categories this, this point represents. And of course, you can also change the colors of the line if you want to. So for example, let me click here in this orange line, and I can go to format, and I, instead of using, let's say, a shape outline that is equal to orange, I can change to this red one here, for example. I can do the same thing for the sales. I can choose, let's say, a green color, for example. But I'm gonna stick with this blue right here. And we basically done, guys. So this is our correlation chart here in Excel. Now I can see that whenever my margin lowers a bit, I can see that the sales increase upper. And I can also see when the sales are dropping, it's because my margin is growing. So maybe here I can find a good spot to stick with. Maybe this spot right here, I'm gonna get, let's say, 23% of margin, but I can also gonna get, let's say here, 20K of sales per week, for example. So maybe here is a good spot to stick with. And yes, answering the question, yes, there is a correlation here. Whenever my margin goes up, my sales go down and vice versa. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And if you have any questions, any suggestions to the next video, comment down below, let me know, and I see you tomorrow. As ever, they has a new video, I see you there.